Hello everybody, it's Fufu here and today I've got another video for you. I'm going to be counting down the top 5 most wanted mega evolutions from generation 3. As always, this isn't just going to be my opinions, I went and did a little bit of research over on my Twitter account, I tweeted out a survey which my followers completed to find out really what is the most wanted mega evolution from generation 3. So if you want to be involved in the next survey, please go and follow me on my Twitter so that we can think about generation 4 megas, generation 5 megas and even beyond. Today is just going to be Generation 3 Pokemon that are fully evolved and therefore could potentially mega evolve. If you want to see my previous videos for Generation 1 and 2, go and check them out as well. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Number 5. The first Pokemon on this list is Shiftry. Generation 3 was the generation that Dark types really came into their own and this guy, Shiftry, is one of the coolest. It already can be a threat on Sun teams because it has a chlorophyll ability and also with a Swords Dance set because it has good offensive stats and it also has Sucker Punch priority which is really handy. But what would a Mega Shift Tree look like? Well, I think it would keep its Grass Dark typing. I like this design that I'm showing here which is like a sort of Japanese demon possessed tree design. I think it's so cool. And what I would do with the stats is I would boost its attack stat by a big 40 points to really make a physical set very good. It's got moves like Leaf Blades, Sucker Punch and Knock Off that would all really benefit from that attack boost. I would then also give a big boost to its speed stat going from 80 to 110 making it much more nimble on its feet so that it could be like an agile samurai warrior kind of thing going on. So with the 30 stat points remaining from the 100 that Shiftry would get from Mega Evolution, I've just allotted these to its defense, special attack and special defense equally. So that's just 10 in each. A little bit more bulk will help. Shiftry actually has a really good HP stat at HP base 90, which is really good. So boosting its defenses to 70 will help out a little bit and it will be able to set up Swords Dances a little bit easier. And a boost to special attack is probably not going to be super noticeable, but it's there if you want to run Leaf Storm, for example, if that would help you break some walls and things. In terms of abilities, I thought one that would really suit this Pokemon is Defiant. It just looks like it wants to defy any command. It just won't do what you ask it. It's a dark type. It looks really mean. So I think Defiant would work really well here. And especially seeing as though we've boosted its attack a lot, it means that if any Intimidate users want to come in to try and reduce its attack stat, it would actually end up getting an an attack boost and you can also consider things like defog making its evasion drop it would get an attack boost from that and also sticky web um, and it has the priority to really abuse that so if it gets a plus two attack from a sticky web it doesn't matter if it's a bit slower because it can then sucker punch everything so I think defiant would work really well but another one that would work pretty well is quick feet now I've already given this thing a speed boost but I really think that being nimble on its feet would be a big feature of a mega shift tree and quick feet means that if it gets paralyzed burned or poisoned it would get a lot faster so that's pretty neat you wouldn't really want to get burned but as I say paralysis and poison would, would be really good for this thing I think that will be a bit more situational though I think Defiant though it's also situational and you don't control it so much it would be really good in meaning that Intimidate users can't stop this guy from going crazy so there you have it my mega shift tree number four Milotic this Pokemon is beautiful and incredibly efficient in battle already. It's really bulky and it's got that nice water typing which means that it has few weaknesses combined with reliable recovery and also a pretty decent special attack stat so it can still hit really hard. It has great abilities too. Marvel scale means that if it has a status condition, it gets even bulkier and normally that's the way you take down walls by making them poisoned or something like that. It gets even harder to take down if you do that. And also it gets competitive, which means if any of its stats are dropped, it gets a boost in special attack. So it becomes even more powerful. So this Pokemon already has so much going for it and you guys want to give it a mega, oh boy, mega Milotic. What a monster. So I think this thing would become water fairy typing. We've already got a few of these, but where Mega Milotic would stand out is that it gets that reliable recovery. In terms of its stats, I don't think we'd want to see an attack boost. It's already got a nice HP stat, which wouldn't change because HP stats don't change with Mega Evolutions. But where we see the boosts, we get an increase in the defense, which is fantastic because with this typing, it's great defensive typing and it's already very bulky. 
I think we'd see a boost in the special attack, making Milotic even more powerful and more of a threat. I think we'd see a boost in special defense. That would only make sense. Special defense is already its highest stat, and I think that that would definitely go higher. It's actually getting the biggest boost here, meaning that Milotic would just tank special hits for days. There are just a few stat points left, which I've put the rest into speed. So this thing becomes even faster, and that stat distribution is terrifying it is really scary it's now super duper bulky even on the physical side which it wasn't so bulky on that side before and it's got that massive base 130 special attack stat with the water fairy typing and reliable recovery this is going to be so hard to take down i think it would probably either keep its marvel scale ability which would make it even harder to take down and i think that would really be a great ability for it to keep or alternatively, it could get something like a special version of Moxie, so that when it takes something down with an attack, it would get a special attack boost, which would also be very scary. The one thing that would hold this back from being an insane sweeper is that its speed stat isn't super duper high and it can't really boost it. So that's one way that this thing could be kept in check, but still it's got reliable recovery in the bulk. So. Ah, uh, you guys, you guys, why did you pick this thing? It's a monster, it's terrifying. I think it would be really, really scary to face this thing in battle. Number three, Captain. Another fantastic Generation 3 Dark type and the second Grass Dark on this list, beating out its buddy Shift Tree. Currently, it's quite frail, but it's very powerful with very high attack and special attack stats, meaning that it can run a very effective Sword Stance set with the Sucker Punch, or potentially a mixed attacker combining that physical and special attack stats, or you can just run a nasty plot set, boosting your special attacks up and it has very good special coverage. So what would we do with Mega Cacturn? Well, again, I'd quite like it to keep its grass dark typing. I think it's pretty cool typing and I think it fits Cacturn way too well. In terms of the stats, I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy here. Thanks to my buddy on Lawful Exile, he planted a nice little seed in my mind of this great idea, which I hadn't thought of first. I thought of just going straight offensive with this thing. But actually, I think there's a way cooler thing to do with this. Now, in terms of the attacks that get boost, it could be the physical or it could be the special attack. I think it's better to focus on one rather than both um, because you get a better boost that way. Otherwise, just a life or cat turn set would be doing more damage. I think what's really important with this stat distribution is I've allotted some points to speed so it's now base 75 speed which means it's no longer super slow it's kind of that middling speed it will outspeed some walls which is great but where I've actually allotted quite a few points is in its defenses so I've given it 20 extra in its defense and 30 extra in its special defense, meaning that Cacturn is no longer super frail, but where that is far, far more important is that I'm going to give it the ability Fluffy. Now, does this make sense? Well, yes it does. Cactuses can be super fluffy. I'll put up a picture on screen. I couldn't find a Mega Cacturn with the kind of design that I had in my head, but certain cactuses grow this fluff all over them. And if you can imagine a Mega Cacturn with this fluffy, fluffy body, what that would allow it to do is it can tank hits really easily. It's a little bit faster and that would allow it to set up so much easier. That's a really important part for Cacturn because getting that setup can be tricky now. And sometimes people run Substitute, sometimes people run Focus Sash. It's actually quite hard to get that setup, but with Fluffy and with boosted defenses, this Cacturn can easily get a Sword Stance off, a Nasty Plot off, and then start breaking down walls. And it will be a very, very efficient wall breaker. It has great coverage already. Dark Pulse is great to spam. Giga Drain means it can keep itself healthy. So it's a really cool Pokemon, and I would love to see it use like this. Admittedly, it's not the best defensive typing, but I really think that there will be op setup opportunities available. So I really like this Mega Cacturn. Number two, Mightyena. I'm so glad that this Pokemon made the list. It's a really neat early route Mon, and you've got to love those dog Pokemon. And we've seen on previous lists that there are always one or two Pokemon that are kind of underwhelming currently. They have low base stat totals, and they really deserve a boost, and this is that Pokemon on this list. Mightyena really doesn't have the best stats currently, and it's so, much, so deserving of that Mega boost. So how can we make a good Mega Mightyena? Well, I'm going to suggest making it a dark normal typing and I like this design that I've chosen because it's got that kind of beige fluff which 
kind of hints towards a normal typing. There were lots of over-designed Mega Mightyenas, I think, and actually, because it's quite an understated Pokemon originally, it's like a greyish dog with just black fur, I, I think this design works really well, and I'd like to make it Dark Normal. Dark Normal has incredible offensive typing that is just not resisted, apart from, I think it's Bisharp and maybe... Tyranitar, I think that's about it that resists this dual typing. The rest of the game takes neutral damage from those two attacks. And I'm gonna pump tons of stats into its attack stat, giving it 145 attack, which is very high. I'm gonna give it 10 in defense and 20 in special defense, giving it 70, 80, 80 overall bulk, which is decent. It should be able to take a hit or two as long as it's not too powerful. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of its special attack away. It definitely doesn't use that. I could have gone further and given it a lower special attack stat to boost its uh, stats further, but I think this is reasonable. And put the rest of the stats into its speed stat to make it that base 105 speed. Being above 100 is always crucial, and I think that would work really well. Now, in terms of abilities, one that I think is really obvious and would be quite nice would be Strong Jaw. It gets all of the elemental fangs, and it also gets Crunch, which would all be boosted, which would be really really great but what I think would be even better would be adaptability if it does get this typing as I say very few Pokemon resist both dark and normal typing and therefore all you need is it stabs all you need is like crunch and return or double edge and then sucker punch for priority and then you can have like sub or how to boost your attack and with adaptability that would boost your attacks even further. It would make an incredibly strong Pokemon. What I also like about my Tiena is it's got good starting abilities. So you can either come and intimidate your opponent before you Mega Evolve, or you could use the Moxie ability to try and get an attack boost before you Mega Evolve and then try to sweep with Mega Mightyena. It's a really cool Pokemon and I would love to see it get this Mega Boost. I think it would be far, far more relevant. Number one, Flygon. So this one was not even a competition. And I think we all knew that Flygon was going to win this one. It got 24 total votes, which was almost double the nearest competition. And so many people still want to see this Mega Flygon. Despite Flygon finally getting Dragon Dance in Sun and Moon, it did not quiet the cries for the long overdue Mega Evolution. I'm going to propose two potential Mega Evolutions because there's been so much speculation about this Pokemon and I've heard really interesting ideas from two different camps. So I'm going to talk about one that I think is more likely to happen and then one that a lot of people would really like to see happen. So the first Mega Flygon that I'm going to propose is actually going to be ground bug typing because it's at, it makes far more sense for Flygon to keep its ground typing than its dragon typing. It lives in a desert, it evolves from like this trap inch which is a weird turtle Pokemon? I'm not really sure what trap inch is meant to be but it's basically a, a ground thing and it's mono ground so it doesn't really make sense that it would lose that ground typing, I don't think. It lives in deserts, it just needs that ground typing. Otherwise it would be hit by the sandstorm. That doesn't make any sense. So I think ground bug would make a lot of sense. We've seen it evolve, we've gone through Vibrava, which looks like a dragonfly, and Flygon itself still kind of looks like a dragonfly. It's got those weird bug eyes. So I think ground bug makes a lot of sense. And what I'm going to do with the stats is give it a lot of attack so that its U-turn can hit harder, so that its Earthquake can hit harder. And what I'm also going to do is give it some nice bulk. Ground types generally are relatively bulky. This Pokemon is relatively bulky. It would be nice to have that, especially now that it's got Dragon Dance. It can boost its attack further and having more bulk allows you to do that a lot easier. And the rest of the points I'm gonna give into its speed stat, making it 120 base speed, which is really good, and you can sweep teams just with 120 base speed, but with the ability to now Dragon Dance, that's gonna be even easier. And the ability that I'm going to give it is Tinted Lens, because that still allows you to be like immune to Sandstorm, uh, because you're ground type anyway, so you can swap up your ability and have Tinted Lens. It doesn't make too much sense that Flygon loses its Levitate ability, um, and so Levitate would also be a potential here, but I don't think that that's very likely. I think Tinted Lens makes tons of sense though, because it has those tinted lenses, they're red on its face. That's a tinted lens. So U-turn will do a lot of damage and resisted earthquakes will do a lot of damage. Resisted like fire type hits or 
dragon type hits, they'll still do a lot of damage. So dragon dance sets with this thing would be very, very hard hitting. And I think this would make a lot of sense. As I say, I think it would keep that ground typing. I think it would be a lot more likely to do that. And we see it's two higher stats in attack and speed getting boosts. So I think that's why, that's why that one I think is more likely if Mega Flygon were to happen. However, there is another Mega Flygon I'd like to talk about, which is much more speculated about and people would really like to see this. So let's look at that one. It's going to be Bug Dragon and it's going to be a special attacker. So all the investment is really going into its special attack. It also gets a speed boost, more of a speed boost this time. Its attack doesn't change and it gets a little bit of a defense boost, but not too much. So why this would be cool is because we've seen it recently get access to things like Bug Buzz and Boom Burst and it's already got Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Earth Power. It's got an incredible special move pool and it would be really nice for, to see it be able to use that as a mega evolution. With 125 base speed, it's super fast. It can drop those Dracos, then U-turn out or you can just Bug Buzz everything or Earth Power everything or whatever. It's really, really good coverage and with 135 base special attack it can do some damage I've given it the adaptability ability here it could also have tinted lens again tinted lens makes a ton of sense and uh, I think this thing could really put in the work I would like to see this thing just because the special coverage is amazing and Mega Flygon could really use that bug dragon typing to the best so there you go those are two potential Mega Flygons that I've suggested I hope you like at least one of them because this thing is so anticipated Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comments in the comment section below as to what you think these Megas would look like and whether there were any other Megas from Generation 3 that you'd have liked to have seen. But that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.